Today we're going down to Daytona Beach, Florida to Euro Motorsports BMW dealer down at Daytona Beach and we're going to ride the 2019 F750 GS new bike for this year. Uh, there's a 750 and an 850 model. The 750 model is shown here, the one I'm going to ride. Here's about 77 horsepower and I think uh, the 850 is around 85, <clears throat> 88 horsepower, something like that. Basically uh, similar bikes. Um, this one, the 750, is more geared to street riding. Uh, but it still will go off-road, no problem. And the 850 is more geared to off-road riding, but still will ride fine on the road. So, a couple of interesting bikes to look at. Uh, this one in, is intriguing to me because the price point is better than the 850. <laughs> and, uh, but I'm dying to ride it to see how it rides and how it runs. So, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the bike. Now, the bike stripped down with not, you know, Pretty much stripped down is um, $10,395. Uh, the one that they're showing here, I'm looking at here, it's showing you the uh, BMW website. And we're seeing the website show the bike with the premium package, which brings it over uh, $13,000. And you might say, oh, well, that's a lot of money. Uh, why do I want to spend that money? Well, I'm going to show you why you probably want to spend that money. Well, you see what comes with it. So, first of all, though, um, on a Build Your Own site, you can go doing the same thing I'm doing, and you'll see the price jumps up to $13,845, if you can see that. Yep, I think you can. And so, why is it so? Well, the reason it's so, but first of all, before we do that, let's look at the colors for 2019, there were three. Austin Yellow, Stereo me Metallic Matte, and Light White, which I like. And I kind of like the Austin Yellow. I like all three colors. <laughs> but I like the white, I think, probably the best. Now, uh, here are the packages. And let me get this in view for you so you can see them. The packages that are available are well, this really isn't a package, the first one. These are just hand uh, protection that uh, you would, you know, go on your uh, grips and keep the wind, hopefully, off your hands on a cold day. But the big thing is, or it puts the price up on what you're seeing here, um, three, up $3,450 to about uh, 13800 I think, something like that. You can do the math. Uh, what do you get for this? Well, let's find out what you get for this. Um, you get some very nice features. The dynamic traction control, LED style element, keyless ride, which you don't get with the select pack. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Gear Shift Assistant Pro, which um, once you start off in first gear, you can upshift without using the clutch or you can downshift without using the clutch. I can't wait to try that. Ride, ride modes pro, different kinds of uh, ride you can dial in. Plus, you can also dial in uh, if you're one rider, uh, one rider with luggage or two riders, and it will automatically adjust the suspension for you on the bike. Uh, pretty nice. GPS preparation, which means it's prepared for the BMW GPS unit, which I believe is a Garmin. And um, once you put that in, the GPS unit in, uh, you just, it's a plug and play kind of thing. In fact, you just place it in there and then uh, it will um, coordinate with your display so that you can have turn by turn the directions up in your display and everything. It's pretty cool. Dynamic ESA, that's another thing you want to look into. Go, you can go to the website and look at all of these and then if you want, uh, see these little round circles with the eye in them that gives you information about each one of these and you can look at what all of these are. Heated grips, tire pressure monitor system, which is nice. Um, it works while the bike is moving and it will tell you uh, and warn you if your tire pressures are getting low, that's nice. Cruise control, I've always wanted this on a bike, I've never had it. 
If I were to buy this bike, um, I'd really be looking forward to cruise control. That's nice. And ABS Pro. This is kind of interesting. ABS Pro is BMW's quartering optimized ABS Pro uses a sensor box to continuously monitor the right, the right characteristics of the motorcycle to compute the maximum gradient for brake pressure buildup. As a result, the tendency of the motorcycle to straighten up when the bra brakes are applied during cornering is reduced to a minimum, taking banked braking to a new level, new level in terms of stopping power, direction, stability, and safety. In other words, if you're going around a corner, you're going to be able to use your brakes. We've, uh, I've always been taught when you're going around a corner, straighten up the bike before you use your brakes. If you hit your brakes while you're in the corner, you're probably going to do low side. The th in other words, drop the bike down and you and the bike slide off the road. With this new braking system, uh, you can brake in the corner and the brakes will be adjusted so that you don't low side yourself and you'll... It's a nice safety feature. I think every bike should have this. Pr pretty impressive. Anyway, I, I go on. Um, saddlebag mounts and luggage grids and connectivity. Now, the one that's less money is for $2,400. Uh, you get everything like the premium, you get all these. A few, a few things you don't get that the premium gives you is the LED style element, the keyless ride, the dynamic ESA, which I really want, and the tire pressure monitoring system. Everything else is in this selection. So maybe you, you don't have extra thousand dollars, you get, you get this. But if you want to go f full out, this is, premium mode is really, really nice. I like that a lot. Anyway, let's go on. Next, I would like to show you um, some of the options. You can get an Acropovic slip-on, it looks like, um, for 750 You can get an anti-theft alarm system, a center stand, which I kind of wish it came standard, but it's worth it. I like a center stand. Um, it's really good. Uh, low seat for those vertically uh, challenged, and uh, softer seat than the one that comes on. I don't know what the seat's like on the bike now. My my uh, FJ09, the seat that's on my FJ09 Yamaha is uh, brutal to my butt. <laughs> my butt cries out. I had to get one of those beaded things, you know, you put on the seat, and that has helped a lot. But it's still, mm, the beaded seat's a little bit slippery, but it's not bad. But uh, I'm hoping that this seat on the BMW uh, is much nicer. So, some of the other things that are offered that you could put on the bike. Storage is all kinds of things. It's all kinds of things for storage. Um, safety concerns like uh, engine guards and things like that. Uh, the uh, Euro, the lights that go down in the lower part of your bike, which is at a, a brake lock for it, so you get a theft system. There's all kinds of neat stuff. And then ergonomics. And comfort, um, different handlebars, seats, pegs, um, you name it. This is all kind of smaller windscreen. I, you know, this windscreen, I'm looking at the windscreen. It's tiny. Did you see it in the bike in the first opening picture? It's so tiny. I said, I don't think it's going to work. I'm dying to see what happens to the windshield because my first impression, looking at this windshield, it ain't going to work. I'm going to be blown around. I'll be like, you know, going 55 miles an hour, it's going to, you know, be 55 miles an hour in my face with that little dinky windshield. But we'll see. I'm going to reserve my comments till I actually ride the bike in a few minutes. But um, right now, the windscreen, um, I might as well just have an old shoe up there in front <laughs> because I don't think it's going to work. But we'll see. I'm reserving. I'm not going to Say it stinks or anything, I want to try it out first, and then I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a, a report after I ride the bike. I'll let you know what I, all these things, the seat, the windscreen, the shifter, everything. I'll, I'll let you know what I think anyway. I'll give you a, my honest opinion. All right. Uh, rider equipment, uh, boots, gloves, jacket, pants. I cannot look in here. I'll, be, I'll spend all kinds of money. <laughs> but... Click on some of these when you're on the website. There's all kinds of neat stuff, riding gear. Um, and then there's some lifestyle collectional stuff, belts, and you know, all of 
usual uh, add-on stuff you can go crazy with, with uh, these wonderful BMW motorcycles, of which I've owned one before and loved it. So, um, anyway, moving on. They have incentives, a few incentives that you might like, and then there's a summary. So now, uh, what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to turn off the camera, then I'm gonna, going to get um, Tyler, who is uh, one, of the very no one of the very knowledgeable salespeople at Euro Motorsports in Daytona Beach, and he's going to give us a walk around on this bike, just like the one you're seeing right there. And then we'll take it for a ride and we come back. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you what I like and maybe what I don't like. So hang around. Okay, we're here at Euro Motorsports in Daytona Beach, Florida. And look what's in front of me, a beautiful... 750 GS by BMW, of course, and uh, it's the 2000, 2019 version. And I'm lucky I've got my buddy Tyler over here who's going to tell us all about it. Welcome, Tyler. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. Thanks, of course. And uh, so um, tell me more about, about the bike. So the F750 and F850s, they're the new models for this year. Yep. Uh, we had previously the 700 and 800 series motorcycle, and um, it had a Rotax uh, parallel twin engine. So this year we went to a BMW parallel twin. Um, the major difference is the BMW engines are a little bit more peppy. They give you a little bit more torque and more power. They're also a lot smoother, and you get a wider power band on these motorcycles as opposed to the predecessors. Now with the BMWs, the really nice thing about BMW is the fact that they're very refined and they're high quality engines too. Okay. So they're very smooth, they have a really nice gearbox. Um, this year is the first year that the 700 and the 800 series uh, GSs have the quick shifter on their gearbox too. So you ah, have the quick nice. shift up and down. Up and down, oh wow. Yep. That's or, really nice, oh beautiful. Yeah, for yep. clutch lift shifting, which makes it a very, very, very fun bike to ride. Because so, all you do is land the throttle and go through the gears. So you basically, Tyler, get the bike going mm -hmm. with the clutch in first gear and that's yep. it. Yep. You're done yep. until you stop. Yeah, until you stop. So the only time you really need a clutch is going from neutral to first gear. Um, okay. And obviously stopping and taking off. Perfect. Stop. Wow. Now with the new models as well, you have ABS comes standard on all the bikes. But with the new models, you also get ABS Pro, which is BMW's cornering ABS system. So while you're going into a corner, instead of trail braking, you can actually use your brakes as normal. Brakes. And the bike is not going to lay down. Yep, exactly. Perfect. So. Perfect. Wow. <laughs> the new models also have all the same ride modes as the R1200 GSs, so you get the Rain, Road, Dynamic, Enduro, and then you can get Enduro Pro and Dynamic Pro on these wow. motorcycles. You also get the same suspension mode, so you get the minimum, maximum, and the uh, basically auto features on your suspension, and then okay. you get the Road and Dynamic modes. So with the new bikes, with the TFT Dash, it's a very amazing dash and it displays all this information for you. Where before, if you had an analog dash, it wouldn't give you any of this information in a very easy, streamlined manner. Wow. It's kind of a little confusing to read and find all this information. So you got rain, road, dynamic, and then they're all up in the corner. And then when you actually swap your suspension modes, it shows right at the bottom. So on the 750s and 850s, instead of your it giving you the hard top maximum yep. settings. You get one up, one up in cargo and two up modes. Perfect. Um, basically, respectively matching nice. the different settings. Yep. The F750s and the F850s also come with electronic cruise control. So you hop on the highway, you can just set up your cruise control and go. And away you go. Yeah. So now, it's not a throttle lock. I see they have a key in here. Yes. So the 750s and 850s come prepped with GPS, 
for the BMW Nav 6. Okay. The Nav 6 is a very nice display in GPS as well. And you can also get turn-by-turn -turn directions through the bike. You can get your media sent straight through the bike as well. And your telephone straight through the bike. Um, if you pair your phone and your helmet to a bike. That oh. way you don't have to have a ram out and take your hands off oh, your yeah, handlebars yeah, yeah. to control your phone. You can do it straight through the bike. Perfect, which is a perfect. super nice feature. On this very bike. nice, very nice. And then Suspe you get suspension, uh, I see it's adjustable in the rear? Yes, it is an electronic adjustable suspension. Um, the suspension is very forgiving too. Uh, for new riders on the 750s, it is a lower suspension. You get the conventional forks up front, where on the 750 you get the inverted forks. On the 850s and the 750s, you have both have rumbles on both sides as well. So if you hit the brakes, you're going to stop. They are ABS systems. The 850s have steel braid brake lines, where the 750s have the rubber brake lines. Okay, now tell, oh, okay, I just walked by this. I've never seen anything quite like the front light here. This oh yeah, impressive. the front light is gorgeous. Wow. And even just from, as a running light, it's nice too. Yes, wow, it it's is. It's very impressive. It's a full LED uh, light. As of this year, we went from the halogen wow. light on the old 750s. That's wild. 700s and 800s. That is wild. Okay. Anything else I should know? I know, I think, uh, is there manual adjustment on this or just all electronic adjustment on the suspension? Do you do it all? So it's all electronic. All so you electronic. don't actually have okay. to manually adjust with okay. spanner wrenches anymore. Uh, huh? The 750 sits lower than the 852, so you're about two inches lower on the 750 at its lowest point than the lowest point of the 850. And the horsepower torque range, it's around 77 horsepower on yep. this bike? Yes. And around 80... It's around 87 or 88 on, on the 850. On the 850, okay, all right. So, I guess I have to take it for a ride. Oh yeah. <laughs> this Let's is tough go. duty today. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to this. It is absolutely a beautiful bike. It is. So we'll get suited up and uh, put some gear on and, and take it for a ride if it doesn't rain. Yeah. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, buddy. You're welcome. Very, very, very good. Very good. The GPS is unfortunately dead. However, if you take a right out of our parking lot, take this first right, it'll come to Right there where those cars are coming out? No, no. Take a right. Oh, yeah, take a right here. Yep. And then you're going to take the, this right at this stoplight. Yeah. You're going to fork off, go to the end of this road. You're going to merge onto another road. It's going to turn into Riverside Drive. Then you're going to merge onto Beach Street. You're going to go all the way down. Turn around and hit Granada Boulevard, take the right end Granada Boulevard. You're going to go all the way up to Halifax. You're going to take a right on Halifax, and Halifax will bring you right back to this shop right here. All right, I'll give it a shot. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So now we're on the bike, rolling down the road, and uh, it feels nice. Very smooth, well balanced. It uh, just feels really great. Um, and see that little dinky windshield I got up front there? So far, so good. I don't even notice that I'm getting any wind at all. It's, it's pretty impressive. So we're going to take a ride along the water here. Um, got it up to about 30, 40 miles an hour. I should see it shifts very smooth. I'm going to warm up the tires a little bit. Make sure I get some heat in the tires. Oh, it's a beautiful day. There's plenty of heat. 
warm enough today. Florida is beautiful this time of year, I'll tell you. So, so far so good. Everything looks good. It's very, uh, the thing I can't get over, it's well balanced. Uh, the shifter works really well. The seat is very comfortable. The steering is spot on. And the ride is very compliant. It's, it's uh, the system they have in here uh, really, really works well. And uh, going around the corner, I'm taking it easy just to get in the feel, feel for the bike, but it just corners so simple. I mean, it just, it's, it's, it's very easy to drive decently. I guess that's the best way to put it. And so it seems to be going very, very nicely. So, so far, so good. And so far, I, I really like it. It's very smooth. Very, very smooth for sure. Try a quick run in the dirt here. It's not much of a test, but at least it's off-road. And um, <laughs> this thing walks through there like it's pavement. I just um, there's some good squishy spots there. You could get a little out of sorts, um, but no, I just it, it's really it's not much of a test. But I mean, I'm good on a test road. But I just wanted to see what it felt like on dirt, and it feels very, very sure-footed. Very impressive. So back to the bond we go, and um, it's time to give you my final impressions of the ride on this bike today. Well, here's the review. Here are my final thoughts about the bike, and having owned several bikes, including a uh, BMW K1200S a V-Rod, uh, and a few other bikes. And my current bike was a Yamaha FJ09. The FJ09 is a nice bike, quick, fast, 115 horsepower. Got in this bike with 77 horsepower. There isn't that much difference. Uh, when I take off on this bike versus my bike, I think my bike's maybe going to be a little bit quicker, but not a whole lot quicker, that's for sure. This bike has plenty of sack. It has plenty of get up and go. More more than 99% of the people would want. Um, the windscreen. The windscreen was a big surprise. I thought it was going to be terrible. I thought it was going to get buffeted because it's a little thing. Look at it. It's, it's only about this big. It's, it's, so it looks awful. So I get on the bike and uh, 55 mile an hour, I put my hand right here and I uh, kept moving it down. I didn't get to the wind till I got way up here. And I'm going, how can that be? How can I do that? It's an engineering miracle, I guess. My face wasn't getting buffeted by the wind in that little dinky screen. How does it do it? I also note that there are other screens already out that many, uh, secondary manufacturers are making so that if you want a taller screen, if that makes you feel better. But I'm six foot one. I don't, I don't think I need a bigger windscreen. Go figure, that make any, doesn't make any sense. The seat, I love the seat. Seat's great, it's comfortable. Beats the heck out of my seat I have in my Yamaha FJ09. My Yamaha FJ09 seat, in plain and simple language, sucks. So, uh, but this doesn't, this is, <laughs> this is really good. Uh, the balance, turning everything, that seems so solid and smooth and easy. This would be, you'd, I, got, I would actually say this, would, this could be a beginner's bike for somebody too with a little practice and go to some classes, go to some schools, you'd be a whiz-bang on this in no time. Um, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend somebody who is a new-time uh, bike person to try one of these, if they had planned going to some schools and getting some good uh, practice. And uh, you'd be a, you'd love this thing, and in about a month you'd be all set. Not even, not even a month. Um, the display, the TFT display is second and 
nobody. It's the most beautiful display I've ever seen on a bike. It's very impressive. Um, the only thing that I wasn't crazy about was the, was the uh, gear shift assist pro uh, mainly because in the lower gears it's kind of clunky um, but when I got back to my habit of using a clutch and I uh, used the clutch it was buttery buttery smooth so if I were to own this bike which I hope to do someday um, when I, if and when I own this bike, um, I would use the clutch for a second and third. I might, for you know, the upper gears, I would use the gear shift uh, pro where you don't have to use a clutch. But when you get down into the lower gears, um, if you want a really nice, smooth, buttery smooth downshift, use a clutch. It works great and it's easy. Who cares? You use a clutch, you don't like it. But on the, on the upper gears, uh, the gear shift pro works fine, but I would use the clutch on the lower gears and uh, you'd be happy with that. Let me see if I miss anything. But, and I love the lights. Um, I like the fact that you can set up the bike for one, two, or one, one on a passenger or one in uh, luggage. Uh, and all, everything is uh, automated in this and you have all different riding modes you can put it in. I had it in rain, I had it in dynamic, I had it in road. And there were more, and um, it works great. I had a little bit of, sorry, I went a little bit off the pavement. That was really nice, too. Um, the bike is an all around bike. If you want to go off road without getting in deep, deep sand, this thing will go. But if you do most of your riding is done on the street, this would be perfect. And uh, I really, really like it. I also want to thank um, the people at Euro Cycles in Daytona Beach for allowing me to test ride and videotape this bike. Uh, they are really great, low pressure, they're not trying to jam you in a bike, you go in there, the people are friendly, it's not like, you know, if you put your name right on here, you know, none of that stuff. They're very, very nice over there. I'm very impressed. Um, Tyler was great. He helped me a lot, spent two or three hours with me. I mean, the people are terrific over there. So thanks, uh, Eurocycles of Daytona, and I'll put the link to their website um, on the video so thanks thanks for watching and I had a lot of fun fun do, doing this and I hope you enjoyed it too if you'd like to subscribe to my channel hit the subscribe button hit the bell every time I put out a new video you'll automatically be notified when the new video is out we're gonna do motorcycles and Corvettes so hang in there and thanks again for watching